So this might be the most boring video that you have seen from me so far. At least I hope that you agree with me that the rest wasn't really boring. Um, but anyway, let's see how to convert Xamarin.Forms behaviors to .NET MAUI behaviors. So before we dive straight into the code, let me show you the end result that we're going to achieve in this video. So here I have a Xamarin Forms application um, with a simple entry and that has a behavior attached. And that behavior does a simple numeric check to see if the thing that you've entered is actually a number. So whenever I do a number, you can see that it shows up as regular text. But when I do letters, it shows up as red because it's invalid. So very simple. You shouldn't be even using the behavior with um, code in your own code base, we have the Xamarin Community Toolkit for that. Um, but you know, just as an example, and we're going to see how to take this behavior, almost literally copying this behavior and copy it into this .NET MAUI application. And you can already see that we have here, um, regular numbers showing up as black, whenever we do letters, it's becoming red. So let's just waste not any more time and quickly go over to Visual Studio 2022 and see how to implement this behavior. So let's start with a plain old Xamarin Forms application. I've created a file new Xamarin Forms application and I already prepared some things here a little bit. I also changed already the title, so don't worry, I do that off screen sometimes as well. Um, and what I did is I added a entry right here. Um, and I gave that a behavior. So a behavior, if you've been working with Xamarin Forms before, then you probably know that a behavior is like, you know, a piece of functionality that you can attach to a existing control without having to inherit it and do all kinds of crazy things. But you can just attach that to a existing control and you can extend it with that a little bit. So in this case, I've created a numeric validation behavior. I think you can kind of guess what that thing does, but um, just to be sure, let's go in here and check out what it's all about. So I'm gonna right click it here and I'm going to say, go to definition, there we go. And you can see here that this is just a plain class. I can also, only, also show you here in the solution explorer. It's just a class right here in our shared project. Um, and you have a couple of things which, um, because you have to inherit from a behavior and you specify which control it's going to attach to. And, and then you get a couple of overrides like the on attached to and on detached from. Um, so that is kind of like the life cycle events for your behavior behavior, whenever you're attaching to the controls or attaching to the entry in this case, um, then we're going to, you know, bind up that um, text changed event from our actual entry. And we're going to do something with that. Um, and whenever we are detaching from, we also have to clean up our memory and our resources and that kind of stuff. So then we unhook the event for that as well. Um, and you can do all kinds of other things here as well, of course. So whenever the text change, then we're going to see if it is valid, yes or no. Uh, we're going to see if it's an actual number, an actual double. Um, and if it is, then the text color is going to be default. If it isn't, then the text color is going to be red. So if I go over here to uh, my device, and I start typing letters, then you can see it's red, so it doesn't work. But whenever I remove this and whenever I enter numbers here, you can see that the color is the default color, it's just black. Um, and so that works as expected. Now let's go over to a .NET MAUI application and see how we can convert this behavior into a .NET MAUI behavior. So what I'm going to do for that, let's just actually do close the solution. There we go. Close the one to stop the debugger. Yes, let's do that. So that brings us back to this start screen of Visual Studio. So let's create a new project here. Um, I already have a recent template, the .NET MAUI Blazor app. That's not what I want. I want the .NET MAUI regular app. So there we go, .NET MAUI app. And just click Next. Maui app 10. Well, let's just call this Maui app. There we go. And let's make sure that this ends up in the location so that it is in one repository so that you can review the code whenever you're done watching this video. The link will be down in the video description as always. And let's click create right here. So this will create our .NET Maui template. It's now in Visual Studio 2022 as of um, .NET Maui preview 7. Well, actually not .NET MAUI Preview 7, it's actually Visual Studio 2022 Preview 3. That is what holds the templates right here. So I think this is kind of done whenever I go here to the Solution Explorer that we now have this MAUI app right here. And um, let's go to this main page. So this 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 page, this file new .NET MAUI application looks a little bit different than the Xamarin Forms application. I guess that's to be expected. Um, and let's actually... Uh, well, the first thing we want to do is kind of like add the code for our behavior right here. So let me 
actually pull up that code real quick. I have that open here in Visual Studio Code just so I could access it uh, real easily. And this is the exact code that we just saw, right? So the class, numeric validation behavior, behavior on attached to, etc., etc. So I'm just gonna copy this whole thing. I'm just gonna literally copy it, um, close this, and then in my solution explorer right here, I'm going to add a new file. A new item, there we go. And I'm also going to name this numeric validation behavior. There we go. And that should give us a new class. And I can just paste this thing in here. So there we go. Of course, it's not going to find a couple of things because I didn't copy the usings right here. Um, so and that's kind of like the only interesting thing that we're going to see here because here this behavior, let's just see if an IntelliSense can help us here. And it's just going to suggest to us that we should um, use Microsoft.maui.controls instead of using Xamarin.forms. So whenever we do that, I think that should fix most of the errors right here. It does. Um, the only ones left here is the color because color is, um, it's, it's still a thing, but it's now moved to, let's do the IntelliSense again. So we can do system.drawing, which is not the right one in this case. So we're going to use using Microsoft.maui.graphics, which is a entirely new thing that has to do with all the drawing things in .NET MAUI, really cool. So let's just do that. But you can see it still doesn't recognize the default and the red, uh, which is a problem. And the default is because the default went away. You don't want to use that anymore. So we need to find an alternative for that, but it doesn't know the red. I mean, the red is still there, right? So let's just see really quickly the color, what's going on here. And this is just all the kind of conversion methods from, from RGB, from hex, from um, all these kinds of things. So apparently this moved to, and it all moved to colors. So this is more like, you know, what is this? Uh, an actual class, and this holds all the colors. So it's a little bit more split into color and colors. Um, and then for colors, we still don't have a default. Like I said, that one went away. Um, so we're just gonna put here the black for now um, so that it just shows up as black. Um, and that should basically be everything to now work with this new behavior. So um, in fact, we could also copy the code for like the entry and the XAML and uh, make that show up for our entry as well. Uh, but I didn't prepare that. So uh, we're gonna, you know, do that a little bit different. Let's just do this. I'm gonna turn this button basically into an entry. Um, I think there was some placeholder. It, it said something like enter a system dot double or something or a a valid system dot double maybe. Uh, we don't have this clicked right here. Um, I'm gonna skip over the semantic properties. You should not do that in real world code, but I'm gonna do it for now. And what we want to do then is not make this self closing, but make this like this. And then I can say entry dot behaviors. There we go. This is the exact same code and I want to do local numeric validation behavior. Um, and also this doesn't know because I still need to import it here. So let's just do XML and S um, local is and what did I name this Maui app or something? Maui app, there we go. And now it should know our behavior as well. So there we go. This picks up the right way. Let's set this to my there we go local devices, Samsung, and let's just run this. Let's bring up the simulator right here. And then we're going to see the app with the exact same behavior. The template is a little bit different, but we could basically copy our behavior from one code base to the other from Xamarin forms to .NET MAUI without too much change, basically only the namespaces and some properties that might be different. Um, but yeah, it was it was pretty pretty easy, don't you think? Here we go, our app is coming back up and we should see now the template that I just mentioned with an entry. Hopefully I didn't mess up the design too much. There we go, our button is now an entry, enter a valid system.double and we should see the same behavior whenever I enter letters here, it's going to be red and whenever I do numbers here, it's going to be black. So and that is how to convert your behaviors to um, dotted Maui behaviors. Now copying the basic behavior structure is going to be pretty easy because the behavior implementation is pretty much the same. You still have on attached to, on detached from, um, those will still be the same. Um, the structure really is the same. So, but if you're using behaviors right now and you might have some code that has changed between Xamarin Forms and .NET MAUI, maybe you are hitting one of the breaking changes. Um, it, it shouldn't be that much and it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. So it's probably going to be fine. And then the conversion from your behaviors 
is going to be really, really easy. So now you know how to do just that. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything else you're worrying about from converting your um, exam informs application to dot and Maui and I'll be sure to make a video on that as well. For now, the only thing I can tell you, please click that like button if you've actually liked this video so more people can enjoy my delightful videos, don't you think? Um, it will end up in the Google YouTube algorithm of happiness and more people will get to see this video. And if you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button down below this video. Um, just press that little subscribe, ding that little bell so you'll be notified of new content automatically. Maybe check out a membership to my channel as well. Check out the join button and see what that's all about. And I'll be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding.